go, here we go. Friday night, Knicks. Salute to Knicks Nation out there. Knicks lose a tough one, 104 to 102 on the heroics of Jason Tatum's back. CP from Knicks Fan TV, my man Jay Ellis from the Nick of Time Show. Another tough loss, Jay Ellis. Talk to me, man. Talk to me, man. Another tough one, bro. What are we gonna nah, do? Nah, nah, nah. <laughs> I didn't want to lose this. Yeah, I, man. I didn't want to lose this one, man. We and plus we was at the game, the the first Boston versus Knicks game on last Saturday. Yeah, you know, well, I want a revenge. I want a revenge for everybody, for Mook, for us, for everybody, Word. for Frank. Like, you know. It felt personable. It felt personal, man. Yeah. There was like a bunch of storylines underlying the storyline that was Knicks versus Celtics. I really wanted to win this game. Yeah. And the first place you can go is, I mean, you can go anywhere, but I'm going to go Marcus Morris because yeah. just because we've been, we've been dogging him. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> been Reven- him. Revenge game for Mook, man. Get, let's give him credit tonight, man. Let's give him credit tonight. What do you, what, what do you think about his game tonight? Yo, Mook was on his game. 29 points, nine rebounds, three assists, two steals. And the thing about the way Mook did it, right? Yeah. Like the, the Knicks seem like they're very intentional of getting him going early. Or, or I don't know if the Knicks were or he was. Because mm-hmm. he was ISO in early and it wasn't working. ISO Mook was in the building. Yeah. But. Yeah. You knew he wanted it too. He was back in his old building. I knew they was yeah. going to give him the green light. I knew he was going to take. I, I knew he was going to try to make this his game. D- d- yeah. Absolutely. Absolutely. But the thing is, like the same shortcomings ISO has the same shortcomings Mook has. And what I liked about the way Mook played today was the way he got his shots. All within the the offense. Yes, through the flow of the offense. Mm -hmm. Not a lot of dribbles, Mm -hmm. catch and shoot, quick movements, and it all pained off. Quick threes and and, and drawing fouls, and that's the way we need you to play. If you're going to shoot a lot, at least shoot them when you're open on the catch and shoot and not hold the ball. And it paid off for for us tonight. And not not only that, he played great defense on Tatum and just great defense in general. He was a beast on both ends of the floor. Yeah, that's a fact, man. That's a fact. I think one of, one of the underrated aspects of that um, loss to uh, the Magic was was Mook's defense. And tonight, once again, I thought he I thought he um, played fairly exceptional defense out there. Uh, solid night once again. Twenty nine points, nine rebounds. Um, got got us the, the tie, man. What more could you ask for? He he got to the line for us. Um, yeah. We we came back down by three, about yeah. four, uh, thirteen seconds left, I believe it was. RJ comes down the right side of the lane, throws up a runner, just misses it. Yeah. Nice tip by Randall, who tips it to Knox. Knox with a good court awareness, kicks it out to Moop for the elbow mm-hmm. three. Knocks it yep. down. We were right there, man. Right there. I thought, right. listen, man, the Tatum shot. Kobe, you know, Kobe taught him that shot. You, oh yeah, you know that's a Kobe shot. The Kobe taught him that shot. Um, from a defensive standpoint, one on one, there's really not much you can do. I know yeah. some people said, "Yeah, you should have probably threw Mitch for the double, let Marcus Smart beat you." I hear that. That's hindsight. That's, that's hindsight. Like, I'm I'm not sure with that amount of time they would have ran that. Yeah, it's like I mean that's that's one of those things about those last second plays. You have a a second to make a split decision. Uh, Celtics did a good job. They had Kemba as a decoy. They yeah. pretty much just had him in the half court just to get Frank out of there. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. And then um, just go ISO Tatum. And I don't know if RJ watches that much Tatum, but Tatum does that move. Hey, got to man. The they're former, they're former teammates. I mean, I know they're, they're yeah, former you know teammates. Your, I mean, not teammates, but you know, you know, he a fellow that, alum. He wasn't doing that at Duke. I'm telling you, Kobe <laughs> told him that move, man. That, he wasn't that's doing a, that at Duke. That's a Black Mamba finish him fatality move. You he know what I mean? Kobe that's taught him that move, man. That's two That's two blue devils that got you, RJ. You got to clap back, man. You got to come back and get him, man. Yeah, man. Definitely got to clap back. And get him. Yeah. Honestly, man, I'm I'm not mad at this one, bro. I, I, I'll be honest with you. Well, I've been mad at a lot of the other close losses. Yeah. Uh, this is another loss. We're now 1-5 on the season. Yeah. I would say four out of the five losses were fairly close games. They were there for us. You know, there were 50-50 games that were just a little bit more execution we could have had. And hopefully, closer down this, down the down the road in the season, hopefully we those turn our way. You, you know yeah. what I mean? Nah, I hear you. Like, this one, I'm not mad because I've seen the growth and progression from game to game. Yeah. It, it just hurt. Yeah. Of it course. Hurt. Yeah. Of course <laughs> I'm hurt. Of course I wanted to win. But right. I'm, I'm, not, I'm not pissed at their effort. You know nah. what I mean? I'm not pissed at their effort. 
I, I thought well, they, they gave it what they could, man. Even with Julius and his 600 turnovers, I'm not even that mad at yeah. that. Yeah, <laughs> because he, he saw the growth. He saw he he took seven shots. Seven he shots. shots. Julius dialed it back, man. I think I think he was hearing the the booze from the Magic game and say, you know yeah. what, let me let me get the others involved. Still finished with five assists. Um, no, you know more turnovers. Obviously, you don't want to see that, but yeah, Julius Julius dialed it back and and uh, let Mook take the reins tonight. Exactly. So it was like he he made a lot of the right plays. He got a lot of people open shots. We missed a lot of makeable shots. We missed yeah. a lot of free That's the problem. Throws. That's a, again, that's the problem. If we're, if we're going to point out some negatives, first of all, the free throw battle. You, you just can't win games uh uh shooting what they did from the free throw line. And let me let me pull it up real quick. So to everybody in the chat once again, post game live Friday night Nick CP from Nick's Fan TV, my man JL from Nick Time Show. Um from the free throw line, we shot. I'm just trying to pull it up. Pardon me, real quick. We were 14 to 21. 14 mm. to 21, 66 percent from the stripe. For a Maybe team that. that struggles shooting and the, the team that struggles to score, we gotta we gotta get those freebies. Gotta yeah, get those freebies, man. We gotta get those freebies, man. It, it, it has to be done. Yeah, like we we could have won a few of these games. Just from the free throw line alone. <laughs> True indeed. True just, indeed. Just just from the free throw line alone. You know, Kemba himself made thirteen. You know, <laughs> out of thirteen. You know, you know. And, and I don't want to. I don't like harping on the refs that much, but dog. Like the refs were not. They were holding their whistles today. Um, what I liked about because we we did a lot of things better. What I liked that we did today was mm-hmm. I, they let a ball handler initiate the offense. Yeah. That got the crunch time. Now, mm-hmm. granted, RJ called his own number a lot. Mm-hmm. But I'm still not that mad at it because I'm he, not he, mad at it. Going to the basket, and at least you know he's been finishing at this early right. stage. So I trust it. I trust him way, way better than Julius. I'll tell you that. Right. Like even though he was missing them, like I feel like in a year he's gonna get those calls because yeah. he got clobbered. Yeah, there he'll was get one him. play. When somebody landed on top of yeah, him. Yeah, yeah. I was disappointed in that one. I was disappointed in that one. But he'll he'll get it. It'll definitely come his way. He'll he'll get that call. Um yeah. uh speaking of the guards, another yes. storyline tonight was was the change in other other lineup. You Man. know, Thursday night we heard it was the same lineup as the Orlando game. We were expecting Wayne Ellington at the starting spot. Mm-hmm. Friday afternoon, uh Fizz says, you know what? I've I've been impressed with the defense <laughs> from Frank. So yeah. let, let's go with it. Uh, what was your thoughts on, on Frank's outing tonight? Finally. <laughs> like, this is what, this is why I was so mad after that Celtics game. Like, it did not make sense for, for Frank to get a deep MP during that first Celtics game. That first game. one, yeah. And, like, it made zero sense. And today you see why we were in the game. Um, I'm not going to say it's because of Frank, but he had a he had his handprint on this game. Like, from the chase down block that was LeBronish. Started this started the game off, setting the tone. Yes. To the steal, to going into the fast break to Knox for the layup. And then even I was super proud that in his fourth quarter, he was getting to his little dribble bag and did like a little isolation dribble, uh mid-range, uh mid-range jump shot, and it went in in the clutch time under five minutes, called his own number. So I was very happy for, from what I saw from Frank tonight. Yeah, I, I I agree, man. You know, it was it was so funny from Frank when when you saw him do a little shake and bake and hit that little mid range. He, he you just you just look like a kid that like saw like a pot of gold with his eyes wide open, man. He's still yes. he's still daring the headlights, like because you could tell it, even the the possession after that when the Celtics were damn near daring him to make a move, and he mm-hmm. like he had some daylight and he was still like, oh, what should I do with it? What should I do with it? You know what I mean? It is yo. Let him go. He's like, got to go. He's, he's just got to go. go, man. He's got to stop thinking. Stop thinking and go, man. Exactly. Yeah. Like, and once they, he starts getting comfortable with that, it's a wrap. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> and, and they asked uh, They asked Fizz again what he thought about his outing. And Fizz, once again, the same word every time is confidence. It mm-hmm. is confidence. Listen, Kemba scored 30. You know, we, we, we won't give Frank a, a, a W on that one. They they switched a lot, though, to, to be fair. That's, what was your, What was your take on the switching? Give me some of the switching. Uh, like, I have mixed feelings on it. Like, 
we played good defense overall. Like we we kept them by like a hundred by a hundred points, so I can't be super mad at it. But I was upset that we switched so much on Kemba when there was like a big man. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like I didn't like when Randall or Portis was on Kemba because as good as defense we played, Portis was just being abused. Yeah. Well, we, we they knew they knew that was a weak link. Yeah. You know they knew that was a weak link, so I don't blame them. That's just good coaching. So we didn't really get to unleash Frank on Kemba per se. Yeah. Like, right. I don't, right. I don't remember even seeing Frank on Kemba that much. But yeah. Like maybe three plays. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> well, I mean, like you know, it, it seemed like they were making an effort to try to you know get Frank shed shed Frank off him. Um, when he did catch him that three minute three and a half minute mark in the fourth, and Kemba caught him with that nasty crossover and, and caught him for the three pointer. You knew he wanted that one, man. You knew yeah. Kemba wanted his revenge, and that's just that's just Kemba and and being fourth quarter clutch, man. I was like, damn. Yeah, man. You, you knew Kemba wanted that one, man. Knew it. You definitely knew it. Yeah. Definitely knew it. Yeah, but um, you know, listen, I'm 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 okay with Frank's minutes tonight. Again, um, set the tone defensively on Smart. Uh, move the move the rock. You know, he caught Mook in it for another elbow three. Yeah. And and uh, I didn't think it was so bad, you know. Um, for the for the for the ISO stands tonight, for the ISO hive. Um, what do you, what do you think about it? another DMP for ISO tonight? What's your take on it? We went we went eight deep um, on the rotation tonight, very short. Uh, what was your take on the rotation and and no ISO again? I probably shot people with this answer. I'm not pissed off. Mm. <laughs> mm. I'm not pissed off. I understand that some ISO fans are mad. But I'm not pissed off because we were in the game. It was close. Uh, you kind of see, I kind of see why Wayne is out there. Even though he was missing, he just, people have to run out to him so quickly that the spacing just kind of opens up for everybody else. So I, even though he was missing, I kind of see why uh, this is kind of running with Ellington right now. Um, ISO is going to get a shot probably. Um, Fizz talked about giving ISO a shot last, um, before the game started and he didn't come in, but, um, yeah, I'm not, pissed. I'm not super pissed off. I'm not super pissed off. Like, yeah. I, but if, if, if ISO came in the game, I'd have been, I wouldn't have been mad either. I'd be like, cool. ISO's in the game with see what he can do, but I like, I, I just like the rhythm that we played in. Yeah. You know what yeah. I mean? Like we didn't, we missed shots, but I like the ball movement. Mm-hmm. I like the moving out the ball. I like the cutting. I like the whole flow of the game in general. With, with yeah, the exception of minor spots. So I'm not super mad. I, I didn't think it was bad. Listen, I understand why um, Ellington is in the game uh, as you were. Um, he was somebody that we saw a lot of in the preseason. We knew why. Uh, we we Fisdale likes the fact that he's gonna let it fly from three. Um, he he's he's a good shooter. You know, he's one of the best shooters on the team. He's a streaky shooter. But, but Fizz wants a guy that's going to be able to catch and shoot. He wants a guy that's going to be able to get those threes up in transition. Yeah. Keep the and, pace, keep the flow going. And that mm-hmm. that's what Ellington can do when he's hot. And another thing that Ellington is doing is he's not like a top-notch defender, but uh, he competes on the defensive end. Like yeah. he actually competes and covers somebody else besides his own man. Yeah. Uh, now, granted, like there was one move where I, was, I don't know what dude's name, the the stocky guy, with the with with the, the long hair. Oh, who are you I talking think, about? On uh, Carson, Carson Edwards. Edwards. Carson Edwards. Yeah, Carson Edwards mm-hmm. hit him with the look away, the oldest the oldest point guard move in the book. <laughs> look away. Oh, I'm not doing anything. And then blow by him, and <laughs> he couldn't recover. But in general, Ellington, he, he seems like he's trying to show up that defense, and he actually competes on that end. Yeah, I feel like I, that's something that ISO needs to do consistently. Listen, I, like I said, I understand it. It doesn't mean that he's better yeah. at it. And, and some some nights he's not going to have it. Ellington is a very streaky shooter. He's a very streaky and shooter. And Ellington is a very streaky shooter. Yeah, exactly. Now, ISO is more versatile. But um, we'll, we'll see what happens. I don't know what's happening in practice. Maybe he's not passing the ball enough in practice. I don't know what's happening, but... I'm, I'm thinking ISO is going to get a shot again, but I'm just yeah, I'm just happy that that coach at least picked the direction. You know what I mean? Yeah, he only went he only went eight deep tonight. He only went eight deep tonight. Uh, he only went eight deep tonight. So, 
he, he, he was trying to, um, you know, trying trying to cut that down, man. Yeah. He, he's trying to cut that down. Um, what else tonight? Uh, we said the free throws, said the lineup, said the switching. Yeah, I, I mean, th- th- that was pretty much it in terms of my takeaways, man. Salute to everybody in the chat once yeah. again. Hit that thumbs Word. up button for your boys. Phone oh. lines are up. Go ahead, Jails. Somebody in my chat's mentioning this, mm-hmm. and I've said this before. Pick it. Why are we not running more pick and rolls with the guards? That's a good question. Yeah, like, that, that's a good question, man. Frank is. I don't want to say the snake's name, but when the snake was here with Frank, Frank was able to kind of you know give him some nice little lobs for ease for some dunks. Yeah. yeah. And Frank was able to do the same thing in the feed book with Rudy Gobert. So like, why? You know, instead of Frank dribbling and hanging off to the side sometimes, why not just run some pick and roll and, like, get him doing something familiar? Like, a little bit, like, just sometimes. Yeah, you know, not, it's not like we're bad at it. We've, pretty, we've been pretty good at it. Yeah. We've done it. <laughs> well, I, I, think part, I think part of the issue is that, you know, with a lot of the, um, especially the Mitch, you know, if you don't have good shooters out there, the, these guys aren't really going to commit. You know, they're still packing the paint and clocking that up. So it's really, it's, it's hard to have, you know, your role guy and so on moving around when, when these guys aren't really respecting our shooters. That's true. You, you know they, what I mean? And they call me Tax says our big man can't sh- set decent picks, which is actually, which is also. That's true too. I said the last, said that, the last show too. actually. <laughs> that's true too. Um, but that, you know, that's the shooting issue is also a reason why Portis is playing. Yeah. It's because he can stretch the floor. You know, the funny thing is, is that as much as, um, you, you know, the Portis, Morris, and, and Randall lineups have kind of made us cringe, in this early start, uh, their best lineup, from a net rating standpoint, their best lineup has been uh, Alfred, RJ, Portis, Randall, and, and Morris from from, a net, from both offensive and defensive rating, funnily enough. 